नमस्ते दिस इज डॉक्टर विशाल सक्सेना प्रोफेसर इन मैथमेटिक्स इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द लेक्चर ऑन द टाइटल ऑफ दिस न्यूमेरिकल एनालिसिस एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स एनालिसिस इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोग्राम बी एस सी बी एड एट सेमेस्टर एंड टूडे टॉपिक इज माई द डिफरेंस ऑपरेटर्स एंड द डिफरेंस टेबल्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द डिफरेंस ऑपरेटर्स एंड सम फॉरवर्ड एंड बैकवर्ड डिफरेंसेज एंड दे आर डिफरेंस टेबल्स एंड नाउ जस्ट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द सेंट्रल डिफरेंस एंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द डिफरेंस ऑपरेटर्स सो फर्स्ट we see what is the forward just we have discussed already in the previous lecture we have discussed about the forward and backward difference operators and difference tables so so again just we uh, recall them this is forward difference uh, operator del Del we have discussed already. Del means the forward difference operator, and uh, this is defined as uh, it is f x, uh, and this del f x uh, is equal to f uh, of x plus h uh, minus of f x. So in this way we can define it. Uh, this is the forward difference operator, and uh, uh, like this del is called the forward difference operator and this del when it is applied on fx uh, function fx uh, then it is equal to fx plus h uh, minus fx uh. and now uh, we discuss about the backward uh, backward difference uh, operator backward difference operator this is written by nebula and uh, this nebula fx uh, is equal to f of x uh, minus of f of x minus h this is called backward difference operator so this nebula is called the backward difference operator and how it is applied on this function fx uh, uh, the same value function fx uh, minus its uh, previous value f of x minus h that is a uh, nebula means here it is a backward difference operator uh, just we have discussed already these two operators uh, these uh, difference tables uh, in uh, the last lecture and uh, uh, the in the just we are now discussing about the other central difference operator and the other differences uh, and uh, their relationship between them so now just uh, i am taking here see this one it is a central difference operator and central difference so in the numerical analysis uh, and in the case of the uh, difference uh, differences uh, so just we have discussed already the forward and the backward differences and now we are discussing about the central difference central difference means it is written by uh, just del here it is written by this del uh, the del is a operator for the central difference uh, and how it is defined when it is applied on a function f of x uh, then it can be defined as uh, the just uh, f of x plus h by 2 minus of f x minus h by 2 means it is ultimately a difference it provides a difference here and uh, in this here the variable x uh, first written by x plus h by 2 means here just it increases here with h by 2 so function f x plus h by 2 minus here function of x minus h by 2 so that is the difference and uh, that's why it is called the central difference uh, and uh, it is here also suppose we are taking here the function value y1 if we take the value y1 here then how it is applied <laughs> see this one here del y1 is equal to uh, just we have to increase here uh, one time h by 2 and one time here we have to subtract h by 2 and uh, in the case of the numerical value like 1 here we are taking we are supposing here h equal to 1 so that's why here just we are taking like in this way uh, simply when we discuss about del y1 then it is here 
it is y of uh, 1 plus uh, it is here h is taken 1 here that is that means it is here 1 by 2 and minus of uh, y 1 minus 1 by 2 see this one here and then it becomes here y of 3 by 2 and minus y 1 by 2 so in this way a central difference uh, operator can be defined uh, and the uh, central difference is defined here okay the next operator uh, for the function in the numerical analysis so uh, uh, we can define we take here the shift operator look at here this shift operator shift operator is written by e capital e here and uh, how it is defined on a function the shift operator means here uh, just we see this one here e of fx e of fx means here this is equal to f of x plus h it means here because there is a power 1 the exponent is 1 there on e here so that means here e to the power 1 f of, f of x means here f x plus h suppose we have to take here e square of f x then it is defined as here it is here simply f of x plus 2 h it is here f of so e square of f x is equal to here f of x plus 2 h in this way so that is the e square of fx and uh, if we take uh, uh, e to the power minus 1 of fx uh, then see this one here e to the power minus 1 means how it is applied here so this will be equal to f of x uh, and then x is replaced by ultimately x minus 1 h so that means here uh, whatever the power is there for the e then ultimately this is defined as e to the power minus of 1 fx uh, means x minus 1 h if we take uh, e square there then it is x plus 2 h and in the same way if we take e cube or e to the power 4 then on the fx function then is it this is defined as here e to the power 3 f of x uh, i will write there e cube of fx uh, and it is equal to this is f of uh, x plus 3 h that is so in this way a shift operator is defined in the numerical analysis and next is the average operator the average operator means it is written by mu the notation or the symbol for this average operator is written by mu here and how it is defined so this is defined on the function fx so mu of fx is equal to like the similar to the uh, center difference so we have to see there f of x f of x plus h by 2 there and uh, look at there this is the value x here it is the value x so it is simply f of x means here f uh, first we have to take f x plus h by 2 means x is replaced by x and uh, it is just increased by h by 2 and uh, plus here because it is an average operator so ultimately we are having the two values and uh, we have to take its uh, average value that means it is a mean value so that's why just we have divided by 2 and uh, uh, there is a value f of x plus h by 2 and plus here f of x minus h by 2 so this is the definition of the average operator okay now in a difference table how it is applied like see it is here a uh, mu y1 suppose here uh, y1 is uh, the value for the function f uh, y here y or the fx we can say and mu is the average operator so if we take here mu y1 then how it is applied here simply uh, just i am explaining here mu of y1 this will be equal to 1 upon 2 and then here just what i said here uh, according to its definition this is y of uh, 1 is the value and we are increasing here by h by 2 but in the numerical case uh, if we take h equal to 1 there so it becomes here 1 by 2 and uh, plus here this is the value next value is y 1 minus 1 by 2 so this will be equal to 1 upon 2 and then it is here 1 y 3 by 2 and plus y it is what is 1 minus half that is 1 by 2 and in this way an, or an average operator can be defined in the numerical analysis and uh, all these operators like the forward backward central and the average operator and the shift operator are very important uh, and uh, for the ultimately difference tables and uh, to make the relation.
Now I am explaining one more thing here. Uh, just because in the last lecture we have discussed about already the forward and backward differences. Now I am explaining here the difference table for the central difference here. So see this one here. Suppose we are uh, having the value of x and the value of y. Okay. Now here it is simply I am taking some values here. So look at here I am starting at the center. Suppose it is the value x naught. The center most, most value is given to x naught. Next x1 and then it is x2. It is here x minus 1 and then it is here x minus 2. Correspondingly the values of y are the y naught, y1, y2 and y minus 1 and y minus 2. So these are the values of y. Now here I am taking the like differences here, center difference. So first difference, first difference, then I am taking here the second difference, third difference, And so on. So how it is defined here? Just we have to see this one here. It is written by uh, just it is here. The first difference means here del y. It is here del square y. Then it is here del q y and so on. So it is here given by for the first difference here, we have to see del and then here the average value of these two. It means here 1 plus 2 is here uh, 3 and 3 by 2 the average value so it is here 3 by 2 and you and we have to write at the center of these two values in the same way it is written by it is del y del y 3 by 2 and in the similar way g for the 0 and 1 it is here 0 plus 1 by 2 that means it is 1 by 2 next uh, for these two here, it is del y 0 and minus 1 by 2 means here minus 1 by 2. And it is here del y minus 2 and minus 1 is minus of 3 and divided by 2. In this way, a difference table, a center difference table can be uh, made there, can be prepared. Now, for the second differences, uh, just we have to take like uh, for these two suppose here, then it is here del square we have to write del square because this is showing here the second difference and del square y 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 means here 2 and this is here it is simply 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 2 there and 2 by 2 means here 1 like in this way next is here simply 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 that is here 0 if it is 0 then simply the difference is del square y not there because we have to see here ultimately del square there uh, sum is minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 0 and 0 by 2 means here 0. Next is here it is del square y and then here it is minus 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 is minus 4 by 2 that means here minus 2 and minus 2 there so it will be minus 2 means minus 1 like we can I can explain you here minus 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 is uh, like minus 4 by 2 and this will be like here uh, minus by 2 there and in the similar way it is minus 2 <coughs> and it's a average value so divided by 2 there so ultimately it will be equal to see this one here it is a minus 3 by minus 3 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 just we have to add these two values their values and then it's a average so this will be equal to here uh, so my 1 by 2 of uh, minus 4 by 2 and this equal to 1 by 2 and this is minus 2 and this that's why it is minus of 1 so del square y minus 1 for the next difference so del cube it is del y del square y and del cube y Again the same process is uh, repeated there and just uh, 0 and 1 is here uh, 
uh, 1 and 1 by 2. So this will be here, uh, like C, because it is a third difference, so we have to write there del Q. And 0 and 1 is 1, and divide by 2, so ultimately 1 by 2 will come there. Okay. Next, uh, for these two, look at this one here. It is here written by del Q, and uh, what is minus 1 and 0, that is minus 1, and divided by 2, so ultimately it will be minus uh, 1 by 2. In this way, like we can define here the third difference. Now next uh, is here the fourth difference. It is a fourth, uh, fourth uh, difference. And uh, it is written by del 4 y. See, again the same process is there and this will be here del 4 because we have to find the fourth difference for these two values minus 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 and in the same way uh, just uh, what is minus 1 by 2 and plus 1 by 2 that is 0 and uh, 0 divided by 2 is again 0 so in this way the fourth difference will come there del square y and this is 0 that is also called del square y del 4 y not so in this way a central difference table can be made there, can be prepared there and uh, uh, one important thing is here because in the part of interpolation, in the numerical analysis, uh, just we will discuss uh, later on in the next lecture, uh, but what I have to explain here, this here, suppose at the sum value for the x0 there, which is coming at the center or near about the center, we have to find the value of the function y, okay. Like suppose this is the value, uh, just we have to find there. Then a central difference formula can be applied, uh, like the Stirling's formula can be applied uh, and uh, we can calculate, we can determine the unknown value of the function at the value of x uh, which is lying around at the center. Okay, that is, that is the role of the central difference table. Now I am taking here. See this one here, I have discussed about already these difference uh, operators like the average operator, the shift operator and the center differences. So next uh, I am coming to the relation between them. So now I am going to define the some relations between the operators like the five operators we have discussed here uh, the forward, backward, central, average operator and the shift operator. So see this one here the first is the relation between the forward difference operator and the shift operator E. How can we define it? How can we make a relation between them? So first uh, uh, we have to see just we are discussing about we are taking the uh, del operator means forward difference operator on the function fx and uh, how it is defined here f of x plus h uh, minus of fx this is the definition of forward difference operator now here just this f x plus h according to the forward difference uh, uh, like here or the shift operator we can define it here e e of fx okay then here e of fx uh, and this is here uh, minus of fx look at here this one del fx equal to fx plus h minus fx so just according to the definition of the forward difference so and this fx plus h can be replaced by e of fx minus fx we have written in the similar way and now just from the back of side back side here if fx is taken common then e minus 1 is left there it is e it is minus 1 there and uh, now just by comparison of the function fx from the right side here just look at this one del is equal to 
e minus 1. So this del is equal to e minus 1 and it gives a relation between the forward difference and the uh, shift operator e. Now next relation is here e and del e del equal to del e this one here. So e del of fx uh, now we are taking here e of del fx because ultimately uh, these operators when these operators are applied on the uh, function here then we can find the relation. So first we are taking this e of del fx uh, and according to del fx first we have to use this forward difference operator uh, definition. So this is del fx means here f of x plus x minus of fx. Now here just open the bracket it is e of fx plus h and minus e of fx and now what shift operator uh, just does here. So ultimately e of fx plus h is equal to fx plus 2h because we have defined it already like e to the power 1fx means here fx plus 1h here it is uh, just fx plus h so it becomes here fx plus 2h just means uh, this will provide you uh, uh, just increment in h here one time because there is a power 1 for the e now ultimately this uh, here f of x plus 2h minus f of x plus h is equal to del of f x plus h according to definition of the forward difference operator and this will be equal to uh, f x plus h can be given by e of f x uh, and then just we can see there in the left hand side uh, is this e del is equal to here del e look at there and it gives a relation between the uh, these two uh, like operators uh, okay now this here the third uh, relation is again nebula means backward difference operator nebula is equal to 1 minus e inverse so nebula is equal to 1 minus e inverse how can we define how we can prove it here so first nebula of fx is equal to just apply its definition functions the the correct value minus its previous value fx minus fx minus h now fx minus h can be defined according to the shift operator as e to the power minus 1 fx is it and then fx is taken common so it becomes 1 minus e inverse and then this 1 minus e inverse of fx and now in this when this fx is compared in the two sides here then just it will provide you the del is equal to here this del is equal to uh, 1 minus e inverse and that is the part which is to be proved here so in this way we can prove this relation again the fourth relation is the del del means here the central difference operator is equal to e to the power minus half minus e to the power minus half and this when del of fx is taken there just apply its definition the central difference this del of fx equal to this one now use the shift operators definition and then this term this term can be written as because here the coefficient of h is here 1 by 2 so e to the power 1 by 2 of fx in the similar way minus f e to the power minus 1 by 2 of fx and now again take common fx from the back side and just compare the two uh, uh, like here the function fx in the this right hand side and in the left hand side then our what ultimately we will get there this del is equal to this del is equal to e to the power 1 by 2 minus e to the power minus 1 by 2 and in this way these uh, relations can be made there can be defined there and uh, this uh, is a very important part of numerical analysis because in the further part of interpolation these relations will be used so with this here i am concluding my today's lecture thank you